Hi friends, let's try to understand the AVG, the arterial blood gas analysis. The chart usually contains the pH, pCO2, SCO3, partial pressure of oxygen as well as electrolytes and hemoglobin etc that you can see and uh, other acids like uh, lactic acid also. So AVG, if we see the first thing that is the pH the normal pH of the blood is in the range of 7.35 to 7.45. If it is below this value, then it is acidic. And if it is greater than this, then it is basic. Similar is the condition with the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, where the normal range is from 35 to 45. But the partial pressure of carbon dioxide ultimately it goes and breaks into leading to formation of acid so it denotes the respiratory thing so if it is greater than 45 then the condition is acidic and the condition will be respiratory acidosis and if it is less than 35, the condition will be the basic, that is alkalosis, and it will be the respiratory alkalosis. Now coming to the bicarbonate. Bicarbonate is actually uh, denotes the metabolic factor, and it is a base. That is, if its value will increase than 28, then the condition will be alkalosis, that it will be toward basic, and if its condition, its value is less than 22, then the condition will be acidic. So, you have to take care of these things while trying to understand. Now, try to understand what is uncompensated, what is compensated and what is fully compensated and what is partially compensated. So, let's take an example. I'm going to tell you, suppose we are taking an example where the pH is acidic and which is due to the, the respiratory factor that is pCO2 is also increased. So in that case the alkali must increase. But if the alkali is not able to increase that much amount so H2 bring the pH to the normal level then it is known as uncompensated. If alkali is increased so as to amount, so as to that amount, so that pH is compensated, pH is in the normal range, so the condition is known as the compensated. And if it is in the vice versa, means in the acidic condition, we will comparing with the alkali and in the alkalosis, we will see the acid. If alkali is not increasing, that is in the that is not bringing in the. Uh, if alkali is not increasing and that is in the normal range, then it is uncompensated. And in the partially compensated, when when either uh, the bicarbonate or the PCO two is not able to compensate fully so as to bring the pH to the normal but it is trying to compensate a little bit that is some partial compensation is there then we will say it is partially compensated and when their value are deranged so as to bring the pH in the normal range then it will be known as the fully compensated condition. So thank you for giving your valuable time.